Good day everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to create a sandwich wall or precast sandwich wall panel uh, with the thickening on the side as well as thickening if we put an opening inside the uh, sandwich wall. So to create the sandwich wall, uh, basically you can use the uh, uh, our uh, precast uh, tool here. Okay, precast a wall panel, and then you can have a three layer. But uh, now uh, we can use the uh, component that is uh, default of the system. All you have to do is to go to the right hand side, and then under the application component, you just simply type wall, and then under the wall components, you will find the sandwich and double wall. So just double click the uh, sandwich and double wall. So at the moment, as you can see here, we have the standard uh, um, attributes, okay? By default, we use the standard. So you can see the parts. You have the main part. You have the uh, insulation. You have the outer shell. So let's say uh, uh, in the foil side, just do not create. And then on the shell, the inner shell, we we'll just put here 100 mm. All right, let's say the class is uh, the class is three and then the insulation I'll put 50 millimeter and the class is six and outer shell I'll put 60 and also the class will be three so just simply apply that one and then just pick two points one and then two let's say five thousand or five meter Again, select and then five meter. Okay, so there you go. So as you can see here, we have one height and you can see the layer, right? Now to modify the, uh, uh, the layer, okay? So you can go to the vertical se section and as you can see on the vertical section, uh, you see the top level, so we will just use the edge, edge one. So in the edge one, and you can see here the uh, edge two as well, or sorry, edge three and edge four. So meaning that one will be the total height. So if I type in edge one a two thousand five hundred, and then modify. So there you go. So everything, the tree will be 2,500. And then let's say the uh, edge bar, the out, outer shell, I'll type 2,700. So there will be a 200 difference. Now, if you want to have a thickening on the top, so we need to change the height of the insulation to 2400 let's say our thickening is 100 millimeter just simply modify that one and that will be your thickening so if your thickening is uh, 150 so you can type here to 350 and then modify yeah so at this point of time let's use the 4000 24 sorry and then as well as the bottom so as you can see here for the bottom, you can also change the uh, uh, the insulation. So as you can see here, the B3. So you type here B3, and then you type here 100, and then modify. Then there will be a thickening there. Now, to add the thickening here, or sorry, let's uh, change this one to 2, 3, because that one is the total height. All right, so there you go. So now, um, here, that to thicken the inner shell on the top and bottom, as you can see here, we have this option. All right. So if I type here, mod, if I select the second option here, modify. So as you can see here, there will be a thickening with the 10 millimeter, um, uh, what do you call that? Uh, 10 millimeter thickness of the insulation there. If you, if you change this one to this and then modify, then there will be no, uh, uh, no 10 millimeter there so it's fully closed so it's your choice whether you want the 10 millimeter there or 
fully closed. Just simply modify. Let's say I want a 10 millimeter there, as well as here. You can choose this one, 10 millimeter, modify, and there you go. So you have now the thickening on the top and bottom. And uh, to the side, it's the same thing. All you have to do is go to the horizontal section, and then here you can simply select uh, this one and then modify. Maybe that one is on the other side, yes, here. If you want a thickening of uh, 10 millimeter as well here, oh, sorry, modify, there you go. So as well as this side. And then 10 millimeter as well. Modify. So that's how you create the uh, the double wall or the sandwich panel with thickening on the side using this uh, uh, component. Now, <clears throat> let's move on to the opening. So for the opening, let me close this one. And then I will use the sandwich wall window. So these two is the match uh, component here. Sandwich wall and sandwich wall window. So just open the sandwich wall window. So here, all you need to do is to, let me load the standard. So as you notice here, uh, I will just simply uh, select, uh, pick the part, and then pick the position, one, and then two. So you will notice that there will be a cut here. And as you can see, this one is already has the uh, thickening. If you control two, as you can see, there's a thickening on the side of the window. And then that one also is because of the uh, bottom detail here. So if I load the standard, or maybe uh, let's see if I can load the standard, modify. Let's see. Yeah. So if I load the standard, so this is what will happen. So if you notice, there's no thickening at the moment. And here, what uh, the the insulate the insulation is not cut because here select other layer. So the insulation color is number is six, and then this one is three. So if you modify that one, so there will be a full cut. Now, here. I can put one meter and this one is one meter so from the peak point I have one meter to adjust the size of the the opening so if I type here 800 and then this one is 800 so that one will be the size of my opening now um, going back to the bottom detail as you can see or let's say we'll go to the uh, ah yeah so in the bottom detail as you can see here we, you can choose this element to thicken, okay, the uh, uh, the side of the window. So if I choose this one, okay, by default it's this is the one by default. So if I modify that one, so maybe additional uh, here I can just simply do not create modify, and then as you can see here, there's no there's no thickening. All right. And also, uh, you will notice that this one, by default, it's like this. Yeah? So, again, what you can do is just simply uh, change this uh, option, enable for you to add the, the thickening here. Because if you press the control two, so as you can see, that one is void. So there's nothing. So if I want, let's say, to, to add this thickening, this, this point. So I will put here, let's say, number two, class number two, so that you can see the color, the color of the, okay, it's still, that one is bottom, and I think that one is still num uh, green. So anyway, it's okay. But uh, as, as I think, as you can see here, this is the option where you, are going to control the thickening on the side of the window okay so as you can see here you have the left detail you have the right detail okay on the right detail it's okay because on the right detail if you notice here same as left detail if I say no 
modified then there will be no uh, there will be no detail here something like this if I say same as left then modify then there you go so you have now the thickening and the control for the thickening here is everything will be shown here okay another thing is uh, if I close this one uh, if I use the wall layout so just a quick one so if you notice here under the layer I can use the component and then sandwich and double wall so I use this one YT uh, sample so apply so look if I pick one let's say two and then three and then four so I can also use the same component that I use from here and with that one I can also add an opening so this one Oops. so for this opening I think I need to um, I need to use the standard or sorry I need to use the at the moment no detail yeah no detailing and so that it will have the opening here okay but again uh, you can use this uh, you can use this sandwich wall window enable for you to to do this thickening on the side of the sandwich panel okay so I hope this one helps those uh, who are uh, doing some uh, precast uh, sandwich wall panel thank you